And hello everybody, welcome to another video. Thanks for uh, clicking on this little video here. This is the camp I've been working with and having some fun with for quite some time. It's uh, It was a site of my ridiculous Fallout physics video, if you want to check out that video in my channel where I did some crazy stuff. But I've always loved this house and I love, love the location, so I figured why not try it, something slightly different this time. So what I did was uh, took the house and did a two-part thing, a glitched inside and also a man cave on the part that you can't access. If you've seen this house before, you know that the main house, main floor of the house is inaccessible, but you can glitch inside it and there's, you can get a reasonable amount of stuff built in there. But the back part, like the basement area, which is kind of like a walkout, uh, is accessible. So I said, let me build up that as a sort of man cave place because it has a pool table and a TV in it already. And so you'll see what I did from then on, uh, how I made it more of a kind of, uh, you know, little recreational space as it were. So the front here, I just kind of did a little sitting area with the radio to make sense. This house is great because it does have boarded up windows and it just looks just looks great on its own. So it's really easy to add stuff to. And it was very easy to come and glitch inside using this chemistry station and using a cooking station. So I it was this is the part that actually posed most of the challenge because stuff was not fitting in great and depending on where you tried to put stuff you would uh, I did I did get some problems. I was able to put up some of these junk walls to create some of a barrier, but I wanted to really do them all around the outside so you didn't have that funny glitching that happens when you can see just the topographical map, essentially. And this is actually a little experiment I was doing with lofting. There's um, In a future video, I'm going to do something more extensive with that and show you how you can actually make something a little bit more reasonable as a loft without building actual floors. And of course, it's nice you can glitch yourself out onto the roof. Up here was just kind of a couple things where I did some merging and you know, just kind of left it there. This armor workbench comes with the site, so does this Radstag buck, so that's kind of nice. So this is what I did in the basement area as sort of, like, like I said, like a man cave sort of thing, <laughs> stereotypical kind of man cave. So I put down a rug and put down some other items to give it this look. As I said, the pool table is already here and so is the TV which makes it just nice to, to you know build around. So I thought, well, what, what are the items that I have that would make sense in a space like this? This bar stools, the uh, fortune teller machine. This piece here, this uh, little sideboard is really great because you see it in a lot of the actual pre-war houses anyway. I figured you gotta have a weapons rack and I have a few guns on the wall. Pool table is great because it spawns all these uh, pool balls, which are a great source of plastic. There was some existing art on the walls and there was some existing uh, art that was like off the walls, so that makes it look really, really cool. These stools here are not exactly the same as the stools that I use, but they're pretty close. I don't know if we actually can get those particular stools, but I tried to match them as close as possible because those stools, those stools exist in the game already. And just some other posters you might expect in a space like this, movie posters, radio posters, stuff like that. So you see the Western bar set here. This little table on the back spawns some items, so that's kind of cool. And this boarded up place, by the way, you could actually glitch in there, but it's I couldn't get anything to really build super well. I wanted to have a little bathroom area back there. I may try again, but it just wouldn't let me place too much stuff in there. I was able to place, I think, like the toilet, but not like a bathtub. But all in all, this is just a really nice space. I feel like they made this 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 house with this in mind, having some kind of space that's just like this hangout rec room kind of thing. So it's just a quick video to show you what I did in this space. Hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.